I'm going to show you how to turn this lamb shoulder into the most delicious Mexican inspired slow cooked lamb carnitas. It's going to be so good. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Lamb is such a versatile meat and did you know it works perfectly with strong Mexican flavours. We're going to start by heating two tablespoons of oil in a large frying pan. I'm a firm believer in using the best quality fresh ingredients that you can afford. Now as you guys might know we don't do a lot of sponsored videos. We work with a small number of select brands that we absolutely love. And that's why we've teamed up with PGI Welsh Lamb today for this recipe. If you haven't tried their lamb, give it a go. It really is the best lamb I've ever tasted. And the PGI stamp tells you that it's a quality product that's protected in a way that's fully traceable. I've got a 2.2 kilogram or 4.8 pound lamb shoulder here, and that's gonna go into the hot pan to get seared on all sides. Add in a tablespoon each of adobo paste and chipotle paste, a tablespoon of cumin and oregano, a teaspoon each of ground coriander, salt and pepper, plus a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves. Then next in goes four cloves of minced garlic, 480 ml or two cups of chicken or lamb stock, and the juice of two limes. Stir everything together and then bring it to the boil. And then turn off the heat and transfer to a slow cooker. I wish you could smell the fragrances in this kitchen, it smells so good. Now you want to cook that on low for about eight to nine hours or on high for six hours. I'll also include some instructions below for cooking it in the oven. Once cooked, remove the lamb from the slow cooker and place on a chopping board. Shred the meat using two forks and then discard the bones. Now you can serve this lamb up just like this. It is so juicy and tender. But if you like a little bit of a crispy exterior on your lamb, then you can fry it in a pan with a little bit of hot oil just for a couple of minutes. And that's what we're gonna do now. Add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to a large frying pan over a high heat and add in that lamb. And then we're gonna cook it for about two or three minutes so it's crispy at the edges. I love to serve these carnitas on tacos, so divide the meat between warm tacos and drizzle on some of that delicious sauce from the slow cooker. Serve topped with sliced red onion, fresh coriander, jalapenos, tomatoes, sour cream and homemade guacamole. And that's how you make amazing slow cooked lamb carnita tacos. Be sure to check out the website for the full recipe and for more information on why PGI Welsh lamb is the best lamb. Oh my god, it's so good.